and welcome back to kitchen table tcg today we have a little bit of a metazoo uh, collection tracker update a whole thing for metazoo uh, we're going to talk about first edition as well as uh, kickstarter to see what the boxes are doing and is it worth it to open up a box uh, before we get there we are about to hit i'm pulling it up right now we are about to hit 5,000 subscribers super excited about that we will be celebrating that uh, on sunday and then also on Instagram, uh, hit up uh, Kitchen Table without an ATCG because uh, I'm working on that. We also uh, have a collection tracker here. If you want to see the value of your MetaZoo collection updated once a week, uh, that's what you got going on there. Head on over to patreon.com slash kitchen table TCG for access to that. So let's talk about the way that the market is going currently. Uh, there's a lot of things going on, a lot of things to talk about. And uh, it doesn't look like things have moved up as much as they were moving up uh, last week, but there's some stabilization happening for sure. So right now, uh, sealed box prices here for MetaZoo Cryptid Nation uh, are sitting around $900. Um, you're seeing a lot of sales at that price point. It seems to be holding pretty true at that price point. And the Kickstarter boxes seem to be holding pretty true at about 10x that price too. We'll talk about that. Uh, when we get to the Kickstarter, but uh, 900 to 1,000 seems to be where we're all we where we are. Uh, we'll call it 900. We had a little uptick above a thousand like last week, then it tipped down, uh, and now we're kind of sitting here. Uh, all the auras, the terrors, not really that important. Uh, there is some value in that, but this is just TCG low, so not really anything to talk about. Non-foil bronze, again, just TCG low. You have 72 cents. Non-foil sil silver, those are all just TCG low. You have 65 cents. Reverse hollows are actually ticking up a little bit. Obviously, we were up a lot more last week. We were up 14% this week. Nothing huge to talk about, just kind of overall things moving upwards. Reverse hollow silvers are where things start to pick up a little bit more. You've got some specific cards like Einfield Monster going up a couple bucks. You've got Kentucky Hellhound going up to six bucks. Uh, this is where, you know, one of the things when you look at the EV of MetaZoo, it's it's very high. The estimated value it, you'll see is about what the box cost is. But individually, cards are available to be purchased. You can build decks with some of these cards and uh, figure that out. So uh, the higher kind of collectible value cards are outpriced for building a deck, but there's still plenty of cards that you can buy to build decks with and that kind of thing. So your average is sitting about $5.60, which is up 29%. Uh, oops, I went all the way to the EV calculation for you there. Uh, let's see, reverse hollow silver, that's where we just were. What did I do with those? I pushed them all over, sorry. Your reverse hollow gold then is up just 6%. Again, nothing huge, no huge you know, changes. Mothman, uh, I think I popped that one up. Mothman sitting at uh, about $199. If you got your sign though by Michael Waddell, you're sitting at $350. It's crazy how the sign stuff uh, has so much more value in Metazoo. I never thought that would be the case. Uh, usually sign cards in other card games, it's not the way. I love 2021, nothing makes sense anymore. It's great. Uh, so if you get your sign by Michael, yours is worth twice the price almost. Like that's crazy according to sales this week. That's awesome. Uh, other than that, though, nothing really is going up. It's all kind of sitting about the same prices as last week, which is why the uh, reverse hollow golds are just up 6% this week. Looking at the hollow golds, then, we're down 2%. But last week, the last two weeks, we've been up 64% and 48%. So no surprise to see a little bit of a retracement here. You still have certain cards like Chaos Crystal, um, which is way up. Chaos Crystal, there's a sold listing for 180 and 135 uh, so I put it at 158. Uh, so you still have things that are way up, but as a whole, we're kind of down a little bit. Uh, let's see where Mothman is. Mothman's sitting at four or five, so no real change from last week. The the kind of super collectible cards are kind of holding their value going up a little bit. The lesser collectible cards are starting to stabilize a little bit. Uh, there's still a lot of things to be picked up. You know, there's no there's no uh, there's no difference in each individual card. So like Sinkhole Sam, there's the same number of copies of Sinkhole Sam as there are Pizza Bird. Uh, so why is one seven dollars and one thirty two? Well, the collectors just like the pizza bird better. It's just the way that it is. But if that ever changes, there might be some uh, some things that you can pick up for decent deals right now. Black hole shard at thirteen dollars. Uh, you know the ones that are kind of the the ones that people like uh, are the ones that are gravitating towards the cryptid in their area and that kind of thing. And that's where you, the ones that are more well known. Uh, and then there's playability aspect to it as well. But Jersey Devil sitting at twenty four. Uh, Mothman at four or five. You can see like Mothman is just one of those ones that is just the collectible one. It's the one that the collectors have chosen is the 
is the collectible one. I don't know. It's from West Virginia too, so maybe that's the case. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Do we do box toppers? The red ink selling for seven grand. Uh, this was nine thousand Canadian dollars, which in uh, U.S. dollars is seven thousand one hundred and sixty-nine. Uh, so a lot of these kind of floating around. Manazu fan art <laughs> sold for 100 euro. Uh, a lot of these kind of floating around. Some of them are in good condition. I know there's a PSA 4 one that someone's poking around as pop one. <laughs> uh, there's a lot, uh, the but kind of increasing here overall uh, week to week as they kind of dry up on the market. Of course, you can still get uh, the the box toppers are selling for about 150. A lot of people ask me to do seal product. In the future, we'll add that. I'm working on some stuff behind the scenes. We'll add all that stuff when we do the next collection tracker, hopefully. Um, so EV chart, let's get there. Uh, sorry, EV calculation, let's get there. So in each box, you're, you're gonna have your averages. Uh, this is all from Mike, what the kind of pull rates are in each thing. Uh, and this pops in, meaning that your box EV, including the non-foils, which are going to use TCG low, it might be harder to sell those, is about $1,129. But if you take out the non-foils, you're sitting just at exactly what the boxes are selling for at $900. So interesting to see that, um, you know, usually you lose some value. It, it, I, I think this, in my mind, makes the sealed boxes probably a little bit undervalued, but probably not by much. Um, and maybe there's just more of them on the market than there are the individual cards. I know a lot of people are buying cards to get graded and that kind of thing. So that kind of pushes the price points up. Um, but a lot of the singles value is also in Kickstarter. So let's get started and look at Kickstarter and see what we're dealing with, uh, in Kickstarter. Again, a lot of these non-foil cards are actually ticking up for the Kickstarter one, up 26% for silver and 36% for the non-foil. That is just TCG low that's tracked there, but you know it does say that these are kind of moving and people are buying them. Uh, reverse hollow bronze is also up 11%. Uh, the, the, a bunny man sold for 100. That's kind of what's ticking things up. A joint snake sold for 80. That's ticking things up. Matt locks for 60. These did not move. If you look at the, the movements of the previous weeks, these did not move as much as the other cards. So now we're moving a little bit on these ones, uh, like reverse hollow silvers. Um, same thing. You'll, mostly I was just talking about the gold reverse hollow silvers were down last week. This week they're up. Uh, there's just not that many of these. It's kind of hard. So Kentucky hellhound up to hundred. I think I got a picture of that one. Oh, we didn't do boxes. Sorry. We'll do that in a second. Kentucky hellhound sold for, a hundred bucks. Let's let's kick back. To, I forgot to do the boxes. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the sealed EV. Uh, you know, the boxes are sitting about 9,500 or just over 10 grand for the um, the non alternating. So you had two editions of this, uh, and the it's kind of hard to tell you exactly what's going on. To be honest, this is the print run of these is uh, 2,500. The print run of first edition was 25,000. So you can see this was a non-alternating that sold for 10,300 and then this was a regular box that sold for 9,500. Now, if you currently go on eBay, there's a decent number at this 10,000. It looks like 10,000, 10 to 12,000 probably is going to be a, an inflection point that's a little bit difficult for the market to get over. But then after that, there's just not a ton. Like there's one for 17,000. There's not a ton on the market keeping it from jumping um, yeah, you know, there's another one for 13,000. There's one for 12,000. There's not a ton on the market keeping it from going over that kind of 12 mark. So once we hit the, if we hit the 10 and get there a little bit more solidly, I think it'll be pretty easy to get up to like the 12 to 14. Um, it'd just be interesting to see how many more enter the market, but that's the current kind of offerings here on the market. Let's hop in then and look at the rest of the singles. So, like I said, the reverse hollow is ticking up. Let's go to the gold cards. You can see the gold cards were, were up last week, and the, um, they were up last week, and this week they're up just a little bit, just about 1%. Uh, nothing huge to talk about. There, uh, actually, some losses. Babe the Blue Ox sold for $102, so that one's actually a loss. You've got Lizard Man going up about 20 bucks. Mothman's still holding about $800. Uh, it's hard with Mothman. I think I pulled this up. There's so many cards in Metazoo. This, this is a lot harder than Flesh and Blood. Uh, it's hard in Mothman. Uh, you've got these hickeys. So this one is, um, it, it's, it doesn't have, or it has the hickey for the reverse hollow. There are some, like there's one that sold no hickey, PSA 10 
for seven grand with 43 bids. So there's a lot of action on these ones that are like, especially the reverse hickey ones. Um, here's a PSA nine, no hickey. So uh, interesting, those two auctions end up the same day. Not the smartest move by those sellers. If Maybe it's even the same seller, not the smartest move, but uh, you can see the, the PSA 10, tons of value there. Uh, but just a regular Mothman, we're calling it the hickey version, sitting around $800. Now, as you get to the hollow golds, uh, we're up 22%. And these have had significant runs uh, for the last couple weeks. A huge bull run early, but now significant runs the last couple weeks too. And it's just kind of all across the board. Mothman's sitting about the same as it was, which is kind of a telling sign that it's across the board. Bigfoot up 50 bucks. You've got uh, some going down. It's just kind of all over the place, guys. Walking Sam is up about 40 bucks. Uh, Chessie's up 600, 60 bucks. Uh, Beast is up a couple bucks. They're just kind of all over the place. Pizza Bird, the Pizza Bird up to $600. Did I pull that one up? I don't know if I pulled that one up. Uh, I pulled up Death Beam. Death Beam up to $450. You can see just across the board, these are moving up. Uh, you know, this is collecting. People are collecting this and trying to complete sets. They're trying to grade them right now. So you're seeing an influx of people buying cards in order to try to get them graded. A lot of stuff going on in that world, so we're up 22%. So now if we get to the EV calculation here, you can see that this is much different. This is where I'm saying that Crypto Nation first edition boxes in comparison might be a little bit undervalued or Kickstarter is overvalued, but there's just so few Kickstarter boxes uh, that I don't think that the box EV actually matters quite as much. Uh, your box EV though is sitting at 6,423. Now, if this number was opposite if this number was you know if there was arbitrage then that number would matter uh, but as this kind of stops mattering uh, the singles aren't as important as a sealed box when you started with only 2500 and now you know you just have so few of them uh, box EV this includes the non foils again I don't know who's really buying those although it does look like on the market they are going up in price on TCG low so maybe people are buying them so uh, 6,400. Let's see where that compared to last week. 64, uh, 60, we're still up 3%. So the, the, the sealed boxes have gone up 9%. The singles have gone up 3%. Did I show you that on first edition? I'm all over the place today. Sorry. Uh, the single, the box EV has not gone up and, oh, the, the expected value did go up. We do that right. Where's my EV calculation? Oh yeah. The EV did go up and the single, the sealed box did not. So again, suggesting that maybe the first edition are a little bit undervalued compared to the rest of the market. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope that uh, that's helpful. If you're looking for a way to track your MetaZoo collection, go to patreon.com slash kitchen table TCG, a way to see the, uh, those values updated real time and see if you have a complete set. The rest of you guys, hope you have a great day. Remember to be kind to the people around you and we'll see you again later.